We end here tonight with a man who seems to possess superhuman powers. Mark Strassman caught up with him at a pool in North Carolina. Ready? Up. At the Catawba College swim practice, we watch the assistant coach make subtle adjustments lane by lane, swimmer by swimmer. You're turning here and your feet are staggering. By doing that, you're going to lose a lot of power. So. Here's what we learned. No one coaches collegiate swimming like Farron Drake. I have what's called cortical blindness. Totally blind. Up. But Drake hears everything. Ball start, lane three. Hands and feet hitting the water. You don't go until they say go. Which swimmer needs his coaching across the six lane pool? No, it's it just long. I have to listen to several strokes where they're hitting in correlation to your breathing. So I'm basically creating a little math formula in my head, having to solve it like that. Drake, now 25, went blind at 14. Darren Drake is really looking good. As a swimmer, he won two silver medals at the 2016 Paralympics in Rio. He heard Catawba needed a swim coach, but hiring a blind one took vision. I was so drawn to it. I was so captivated by it. Mike Sever is the head swim coach here. Everything that I see, he hears. There may be things he hears I don't see. Freshman swimmer Amalia Fontes saw something special at her first swim practice. He knew every little detail about my strokes right away. So enter here like a diver, not palm first. We have these ideas in life, right? Well, here's your box, fit in your box. Yeah. Well, I, I don't like boxes. Awesome job today. Farron Drake, so helping the rest of us think outside the pool. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Salisbury, North Carolina. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. And that is the CBS Evening News for tonight. I'm Jeff Glor. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.